Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I wanted to tell you one of my favorite Bible stories today. We have been studying about God's promises the past few weeks, and this is an awesome one. This promise is shared with us many times in the Bible, but in one verse, Isaiah 41, 10, get to it, just the short part, the first part of it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Well, that's pretty short, but it's very powerful, right? That we don't have anything to be afraid of. Well, have you ever been scared um, about anything? What about lately? Um, I know some people have. People are worried about their jobs and having enough food, staying healthy, lots of things. And sometimes when grownups are stressed out, it makes kids get scared too. Everything is different right now. We don't go to school and we can't see our friends and family members. And different can be scary, can it? Did you know that God does not want us to be afraid? He wants us to know that he is always with us. So there's no reason to be afraid. Let's study another time in our Bible that, um, that we can learn about this promise that Jesus is always with us. I kind of wore this because I thought I might, uh, it looked like a storm outside. I might need it. So one day Jesus was teaching to large crowds of people. Remember everywhere Jesus went, people would just um, uh, follow and, and get into a crowd to hear him. And in the evening, Jesus told the disciples that they should go across the sea to the other side. And Jesus was in one boat. We don't know how many other uh, boats there were, but some of the disciples were with them, but other boats were there too. And in Mark 4, 35 through 41, we learn about a trip they took in those fishing boats. And they probably weren't made for what was about to happen. A huge windstorm started. The waves were super rough and the disciples were frightened and thought that they were uh, about to be killed. But remember, they were right there with Jesus the whole time. God's son was in the boat with them and they were still scared. Where was Jesus? Do you think he was trying to help? Maybe he was scooping out water and pouring it out of the boat so that they wouldn't sink. Nope, he wasn't helping out at all. He was asleep. The boat is rocking back and forth in dangerous winds and Jesus was asleep in the boat as if nothing was happening. Do you think it would be hard to be asleep with all that going on? The disciples that were in the boat with Jesus woke him up and they said, teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Well, let's talk about that. First, they called Jesus teacher, not God's son or savior. Jesus did teach people about God's love and God's law but he was much more than that. And the disciples were about to find that out again. The word perishing is just a word that means dying. So the disciples really thought they were about to die. Jesus woke up, but he wasn't scared of the storm or the winds. He rebuked the wind. That means he kind of fussed at it and told it to stop. He said, peace be still. Have you ever talked to the wind before? I haven't really tried that before. But Jesus said it and the wind stopped. Instantly, the wind stopped. How could that be? Who controls the wind and the rain and the sun and the stars and everything else? Well, God and Jesus. The disciples, even after spending so much time with Jesus, were still confused about who he was. They had seen him perform miracles, but they were still afraid and they were still in the boat a few feet away from him. They were shocked that the waves were instantly calm, but Jesus asked them why they were so afraid. He said, have you no faith? They knew then that Jesus had unbelievable powers even though they still didn't completely understand everything. Can you think of a time when you were really afraid? 
sometimes we feel better when someone we know is right there, like mom or dad. Sometimes we're still scared even when mom or dad is right there. Just like the disciples, they were scared with Jesus in the boat. But God doesn't want us to feel like that ever. He wants us to know that everything is in his control and he is always with us. Did you know nothing surprises God? Jesus was not surprised by the storm. He knew it was going to happen before he told the disciples to cross the sea that night. We know now about Jesus' power and that he's truly God's son. But we really have no reason to be afraid because we know that. It's still hard sometimes, even as adults, to remember that. Let's think about something that you can't see, but you know is there. I can think of a few things like love. We draw cute little hearts to represent love, but that's not really what love looks like. You can't see it, but I bet you can think of ways that you know it's there. Maybe a hug or a smile or someone helping you with something or maybe cooking your favorite meal. There are many ways to see love. What about wind? In the Bible story today, the disciples may not have been able to even see the wind at all. It may have been too dark. We know it was evening when they left. Sometimes we can see the wind blowing flags or tree branches around. And when they get super strong, it's sometimes scary. It's even more scary if you're out in the middle of a, uh, of a sea in a boat that's not made to, to withstand those winds. The disciples still knew the wind was there, even though they couldn't see it, maybe. They could feel it getting stronger and stronger on their bodies, but they could also feel the boat rocking back and forth. There are many other things that are invisible to eye, uh, our eyes. But Jesus wasn't invisible to them and in the story. He was in the boat with the disciples. This was before he died on the cross and rose again. Did you know that Jesus went to heaven a few weeks after Easter? He didn't die again. He's still alive today. In heaven, though, he can be everywhere and with all of us all the time. We may not be able to see him in the boat like the disciples could, but he is still right here next to us all the time. We remember that if we remember that when we are happy or sad or scared or relieved or angry or content, that will help us because Jesus and God never change and they never, ever, ever break any promises. So we can believe it when the Bible tells us that Jesus will never leave us or forsake us, that he is always with us. Do you think you could remember that every day? I hope so. When I remember that and I focus on that truth, nothing scares me. But when I forget, sometimes I worry. And that's not what God has planned for me. I can think about all of God's promises for me to turn things around again and not to be worried anymore. That's what faith is, believing in things that you might not be able to see. And I might not be able to see Jesus right next to me, but I know he is always here. I can feel his presence. I can see the wonderful things he does for me and with me. I can feel his love. You know, that's what I pray for you too each and every day. I hope that you will remember the story the next time you're scared and you'll just rebuke that storm or whatever you're afraid of in Jesus' name because Jesus will calm your storm too. It might be a problem that you're having. It might not be a windstorm that you're afraid of but any kind of problem that we have to go through. I love you guys, and I hope you know in your hearts 
that Jesus loves you more than you can imagine.